Hello guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to fix the missing DLL file CBS create vc.dll. So this is a problem that can appear on Windows 10. I saw some users that said whenever they are opening up their Windows operating system, they receive this error, this missing DLL error. So it's a bit annoying because uh, all errors, if they appear, you can get confused. You don't know why they appear and stuff like that. But in this video, I'm gonna show you two things that you can try in order to fix this missing DLL error. First of all, we're gonna run the system file checker. So the system file checker is a CMD command that will scan our system for important missing system files or corrupted system files and stuff like that. So just open up your start, type in here CMD, right click on command prompt and click on run as administrator. Then click on yes. In CMD, we're gonna type in SFC space slash scan. Now you're gonna have this command in the description down below. You can get it from there, so don't worry. And then press enter after you copy it in. And you're gonna see here beginning system scan. Scan. This process will take some time, beginning verification phase of the system scan verification and it's going to tell you here the percentage of the scan. So as I've said, this is a very important scan that you can do periodically because Windows will automatically check for the important system files and will fix them or add them if they're missing. So this is a very, very uh, nice tool from uh, Windows that you can use. And of course, after this verification is ended, you're gonna have to restart the system. When you restart the system, you're gonna see that Windows will do the system file check and after the next restart. And when you boot up on your operating system, you should be fine. Windows should not get any other errors of missing DLL files and stuff like that. So as I've said, after the verification phase, is finished don't forget to restart the system and, um, and make sure you give Windows permission to do the process when you will see the system file checker so if this didn't fix the problem you can manually download this DLL file so first of all you're gonna have to look into the error because Windows will tell you where the file is located maybe it is located in system 32 in the Windows folder maybe in a program that you installed recently or stuff like that but that doesn't matter you have to look in the error and see the location of the dll file and after that just open up a browser i'm going to open up edge and then go on google and on google i'm going to type in dll files press enter and then go to this link i'm going to leave you this link down below in the description so you can get it from there this is a very cool website where you can manually download DLL files and replace them, of course. So I'm gonna search for my DLL file. And as you can see, I found it, I can click on it. And of course, I'm gonna be able to download it if I go down a bit. I'm gonna leave you this link, I think, to this page where you have the download page for the DLL. And as I've said, you look into the error, you download the DLL file and you go and uh, copy it in, in the location where the DLL file is missing. So you click on download very easily. The file will start downloading in a few seconds, as easy as that. You can save it on your desktop or wherever you want. And you're gonna see here, I'm gonna extract this archive, extract all and then extract. And in this folder, you have the DLL file and a readme folder. What do you have to do? just go and copy this DLL file to the location where the error is at, very easy. So after seeing some errors, uh, most likely this error is uh, related to the Wondershare Filmora program. You just press the Windows key on your keyboard, type in here this, and open up this PC, go into local disk C, and then program files x86, and here go and look for Wondershare. I don't have Filmora installed on this PC, but just go and enter in the Wondershare folder, and then copy that folder in or drag and drop that fo uh, file in there and this is how you're gonna fix the error and you should not get the, the missing DLL error anymore. So I'm hoping that this video was useful. If it was, don't forget to leave a like down below this video and also subscribe with the notification bell activated so you won't miss any future uploads like this one from the TechBased channel. I was Emmanuel from TechBased. Until next time, have a nice day.